students heading back to school, school districts are still working to fill a lot of vacant positions. Now one district is going overseas for help. Our Alan Janae talked to Brighton 27J about the plan today. Alan, sounds like they're getting a little desperate. Well, this is what happens, Jim, when there isn't the money. The school district here, Brighton 27J, has done a lot to cut its expenses over the years, including going to a four-day school week, which they've been on for a while. But now they're having difficulty competing with other school districts for the few teachers that are available. And so they've turned to foreign workers, hiring two teachers initially from the Philippines. Now let's try to answer this. The discussion in Mr. De Leon's classroom at Viking Middle School is a matter of math. One fourth, one half, two thirds, five fourths. There's only a fraction of the number of teachers the district needs in some subjects. It's a challenge. The district faces troubling calculations, says HR Director Michael Clow. We're the third lowest funded district in the state of Colorado on overall funding, and that has an impact on what we pay. Yes. Recruiting is hard in a state that's turning out only 130 math teachers for middle and high schools a year, according to the most recent data. The candidate pools have shrunk, and specifically we're concerned about math, science, special ed. I was teaching it as a teacher back in the Philippines for over four years. Teacher Alan De Leon is here on a cultural exchange, making many times what he made in the Philippines. It was my childhood dream to be in the U.S., to experience Amer American culture, to be able to teach here. It fills a gap. Um, they're expected to hold a license. They go through the interview process and are vetted in, this, in the same way any other teachers. De Leon misses the young son he left behind and even notes the Filipino students were different. They are more yeah. respectful to teachers. But likes the district. For me, it's not about money. It's about the people in the district. And for the district, it's the answer to a vexing problem. We have to think differently. We have to get good teachers in front of our kids. And we're worried about that today, and we're worried about that in the future. Well, the district is also looking at hiring three more teachers from foreign countries as well. They come via agencies in what are called cultural J-1 visas support them. Those visas last for three years. They can be renewed for two more, but a total of five. Then they have to return to their home countries, and the district will have to start again. In Brighton, I'm Alan Janae, covering Colorado First. It is already